my name is Rob Mayer, also known as Photo Rob. We're down here at uh, Bishop on Bedford. I am a photographer. I do portraits, do a lot of music photography, uh, occasionally some street photography. You know, I like reggae. I'm a big fan of, of good hip hop music. You know, like I was buying the tapes at Burkina. I would go down to Houston Street and buy the, the, the tapes at Burkina in the 90s. You know, when I meet legends, you know, when I meet these these musicians who are like idols and just bigger than life and I meet them and I photograph them, you know, it's very exciting. You know, certain guys, it's like, oh, I want to get a photo of, of this guy or that guy. So when Primo came and played, played in 2008 for the Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival, um, I hadn't had a real good picture of him yet. And there was a, a moment where he, where he's, I think he was telling the crowd to hold your finger in there. You know, Primo gets gets everybody pretty open and he's just like, he's the man, you know. He really, he works the crowd. Sometimes he'll even bust out some stuff that he just has in his archive that's not even pressed anywhere. It doesn't exist anywhere else. You know, he's got the exclusives. So everyone goes crazy and um, he held, held his finger up in the air and I got a picture, sun was kind of setting. So it was, it's a great photo, but you know, I gotta give a shout out to Wes Jackson and the, and the Broken Hip Hop Festival because, um, you know, my career grew alongside of that festival very much. You know, that's when I was doing a lot of the backstage project stuff. We were talking about the backstage project and, and basically, you know, I had, I wasn't getting access to the magazines that I wanted to shoot for. So I went straight to the artists, you know. The Twitter of, and Facebook of that day was MySpace. So I was Photo Rob on MySpace. That's how I kind of got my, my moniker. I just chose it as a name to kind of identify what I did. And then I would hit artists. You know, one of the first guys I hit off MySpace was Fresh Daily. We just went out in Brooklyn, did a shoot. Got some great, great, great photos of him, uh, you know, out there. But, uh, you know, and then I started shooting backstage at some of the shows. And then some of the guys started to see what I was doing. And they were like, yo, you gotta come to my show. And, uh, you know, Eclipse was like, yo, you gotta come to my uh, 10 year anniversary for the radio show. Um, and then I started shooting regularly at, with uh, Peter Gostin over there at the Knitting Factory in New York, which closed down, uh, I think, in December 08 or January 09. I think it, actually the last show was Rakem in December, this, mid, mid to late December of 08. And, you know, that was one of, you know, talk about the moments where you meet, you know, some of your musical idols, you know, the gods, you know, God MC. You know, so when I got to photograph Rock and I was on stage with him at the Knitting Factory, you know, hearing some of my favorite joints, uh, you know, and it's just an honor and a privilege. You know, my job is to document hip hop, you know. I make no claim on, on anything, you know, I'm there to be a service and document document hip hop, you know what I'm saying? The beauty of it is from the talent, the musicians, you know? So I just take the pictures, so a lot of people, you know, oh my God, uh, that's so amazing you did that. And it's like, well, the artists themselves are amazing, and I just try to take the best pictures I can of, of the culture. I love hip hop, and I'm, and I'm grateful to be, you know, documenting and a part of the culture.